Hello YouTube, it's Das Gregor and welcome to another video. Today I am going to be discussing something that we all have a hard time dealing with. Now I don't recall too much of this heartache when I went from KDE 2 to KDE 3, but I do remember when KDE 3 was suddenly migrated to KDE 4 the drama, the headaches, the, this is not ready for production, this isn't proper. And then once again, in the last six to eight months, we're going through it all over again with KDE 5 Plasma 5. The biggest thing that I find wrong with this migration from 4 to 5 is that there are so many utilities that were so useful with four that are missing, obsolete, gone. Now it has been that we are able to install those applications and recently I noticed as of two to three months ago a lot of them are starting to be masked and closed off and gotten rid of. And you say, no! I need it because it's something that I use. Well, I've got a solution. Now, this doesn't mean that you go and say, I got my security blanket. I'm never letting go. I'm going to hold on to it forever. This is just hopefully they will build something a little bit more useful. Now, I'm going to use the example of K user. I found KUser to be a very good utility to add, delete users, and especially add them to groups and set extra settings. And I find that feature in Plasma 5 to be one of the most lacking, unless I am blind and I just don't see where you can do this inside of Plasma 5. But let me give you an example. If we open up here and we type in users, we have the user manager, which is what now really looks a lot like what I see in GNOME and other locations. It's like they cloned what sucks. And it upsets me because this is, yeah. I mean, I look at this and I see, okay, there's my user. And, you know, there's a little bit of stuff here but I don't see anywhere where I can edit that user and add it to a group. I don't see where I can do anything else to it other than tell it auto login and administrator and, and give it its little icon. Now, I find this to be very lacking in features and I'm not sure, if maybe I'm doing something wrong with it, but I find that to be the case in GNOME and Unity and everywhere else you look. That seems to be the generic bland, oh, we'll let you do it, but if you want to do anything else with it, tough. So I really like KUser, and I still have it installed. And let me put my, maybe, if I remember. Oy vey. Okay, super. <laughs> so here you see so much more information it's so much more useful you even have your groups tab and you can see everything in there it's really easy to add users edit users add them to groups see everything that is so much more verbose and much more usable now you don't really want to get me started on all the other things about plasma i just wanted to point out this particular one that drives me nuts so recently I'm going to pull up here. They have said right here that KUser, for instance, has been masked for removal in 30 days. And this is of 16 November 2016, so about three, four months ago. And it will be taken out. And it also says that it's been exported to KDE Sunset Overlay. So I started thinking to myself, all right, well, let's look into the KDE Sunset overlay. And I found this overlay, KDE Sunset, and I thought, okay, this is where the old versions of KDE go to die, or in some cases, for those of us who just can't let go, we hold on to it with a dear heart. 
So uh, installation, super. All right, let's look at what this says. As it does not have an active maintainer, the KDE Sunset Overlay is no longer available in layman. Well, that might explain a few things because over here, when I did a layman dash L to fetch the remote list, and there's a lot in there, but we'll just kind of scroll up here to the K's. We will see that we have KDE and Oh my goodness, it's in there. You know what? It's in there because I've already done this and I thought I'd removed it and backed everything out. And oh man. Well, you see right here this KDE Sunset.xml. Now, this tells you here to put it in ETC, Etsy, ETC, portage, repos.conf, KDE Sunset.conf. I tried this and it did not work for me very well at all. I couldn't get it to work. I kept getting errors and then I started searching for the answers and I found it right here. Now I will go ahead. This is actually from the fun to org, which is a spin of Gen 2. And he talks about how in here creating the Etsy layman overlays KDE sunset.xml now that is the proper setup for that and then once you do that you do the layman dash L now because and that's why I did the dash L and it put it back in there if that's missing and let me just take that out real quick because this is what you're going to see and I'm, since this is all this sort of thing let me use root for for a moment and Let's just put it at root for actually let's just delete it because I got it copied somewhere else. So let's just get rid of this. RM KDE sunset. And if we do our layman dash L and get the fetch list, because this is what you're going to see initially. And if we scroll on up to the K's, we will see what we should have seen before that it just says KDE. There is nothing else there. Now, if you create your KDE-Sunset.xml right here just as it says and we will put that back in now sudo and I think I had it at root just for the uh, let's see here KDE-Sunset.xml copy it here and boy y'all are probably looking at me thinking man this guy is nuts there we go can't remember to put it so it's there and if we do a lucky at it you will see that it matches everything inside of here and as we saw when we do the layman dash L it is now showing that we have available to us KDE sunset now that wasn't before as you saw once we got rid of it but it is there when we add the KDE sunset.xml now before we actually add this overlay if we do an emerge dash s k user we will see that I do in fact have k user installed because it's still there from before it got masked but if we do an emerge say ask and verbose for a and v k user and bring this up we will find that there are no dependencies available for k user anymore but we see that kde apps is there that's because it is no longer in the normal portage tree now now that we have put kde sunset in there and it is working and i don't know why this part here wasn't working i just could not get it to go it kept erring it kept giving me other problems I kept trying to dig deeper and finally just backed out of everything found this article and sometimes it's best to do what works so once we have that we will do a layman dash a to add KDE dash sunset it's gonna add it it's gonna synchronize it everything is gonna go good and now if we do an emerge dash av k user it will tell us that it's going to upgrade and also downgrade to this newer version because i've already looked at all this stuff because i want to make sure it's good for you guys 
and come on dependencies this is a good way for you to be able to utilize some of those tools from the 4.x days of KDE that you still want to run eventually you're going to want to get rid of those but for those few things you still need this is a good way to do it now the caveat to this is you want to do this at your own risk because some of these files well most all of these files are no longer being maintained and because they're not being maintained any longer there are probably some security vulnerabilities there are some prob probably some other issues with this but sometimes you just need to go back and use that old stuff because it's what you're comfortable with and the current tool is lacking and unfortunately I find that KDE has come a long way there's some features of Plasma 5 I like a lot but there are so many things that I feel laziness and that's the only thing I can think of is laziness with the development and I apologize if you're a developer for KDE because I realize this is all volunteer this is all given to us in open source but I feel like there are so many very beneficial features within KDE 4 that are lacking in Plasma 5 that it really upsets me and this was why I was shirking so much when Gen 2 was like if there's any Gen 2 devs out there please hold off the last moment before you make Plasma 5 be the production and I know it kinda hit us last summer and I had just created this new partition to start working with it and learning it but anyway uh, this is a good way to be able to use some of that stuff and you see here KUser is back it's gonna downgrade it and I'm not sure what the big thing is in regards to 1604 versus of course 4.14.3 which of course is the last version of KD4 that I was using and so you can go ahead and say yes here and it will do that or if you've already used this you could mask the 1604 and just make it so that it stays at that level but if you ever needed to reinstall it this is the way you'd be able to do that or if you're rebuilding KDE and you need this feature this feature along with everything else is there now I want to tell you guys something to be careful about before I let you go and that is any time you add an overlay with layman be extra cautious that you are accidentally introducing to your system applications that could be either in experimental phases test phases not very stable I have in the past without paying attention enabled certain overlays and then done say a world update to find out that oh I just blew up half of my system because as a noob and we're talking many years ago I didn't realize that it was pulling the packages from the overlay instead of from Gen 2 main repositories because I just wanted one little bit of that overlay not the whole thing but in some situations if you don't set priorities it can do that and it will choose the overlay package over your stable Gen 2. Now a very good thing that to do when you add an overlay and before you do an emerge dash dash sync and all the rest is after you've added an overlay do we emerge dash AVU capital N capital D now what that stands for is A for ask, V for verbose, U for update, N capital N for new use and capital D for a deep look and then world now I, I have a shortcut that redoes emerge when I just type it in there as my main user so that it does a sudo and actually it does a time sudo so I can actually see the time as you can see there the real time and all that but if we run that it's gonna go through and it's gonna test everything that I've done adding this new uh, package or overlay and tell me all the updates now it's important you do this before you do the 
emerge dash dash sync because right now everything is exactly the way it ought to have been since your last big world update and therefore there shouldn't be much of anything found it really should only find k user that it wants to update and there shouldn't be anything else but if there is then you know that you may have a problem and that it's pulling in more than what you wanted with that overlay and you have to be really careful about that because you could very easily blow up a system especially when you're doing this this way and you're adding overlays overlays can be so dangerous if you don't use them carefully so as you see it finished and it only has k user as the package so that evidently is the only package i'm using that is still being retired everything else i guess i've moved on to i really hope this information helps i hope that you don't use kde sunset as a crutch to hold on i did read some articles for instance where someone was talking about how i'm still using kde 3 and this was just a few years ago because i don't want to go to kde 4 and i'm like dude you gotta let go eventually we all have to let go eventually and realize progress keeps going forward so i hope this helps you if it's morning evening noon or night whatever you're having i hope it's a good one enjoy it and we'll chat with you later. Bye, guys.